The nation's stalling economy is hurting President Bush in the polls, but many believe he will still be reelected. For the first time, a CNN USA Today poll conducted by the Gallup organization shows Mr. Bush's approval rating slipping below the 50 percent mark. The president's highest approval rating, 89 percent, just after the Gulf War, has since slipped to 46 percent. And if pitted against an unspecified Democrat, the poll shows the president in a statistical dead heat to hold his office. The president knows all too well that his handling of the economy is partly to blame. And yes, these are tough times. And yes, there are layoffs. And many families are having a rough go of it. In fact, three quarters of those polled say they disapprove of the way the president is handling the economy. Unlike Ronald Reagan, Bush doesn't have a strong base of true believers that he can fall back on. If Bush wants to keep his coalition together, he's got to turn the economy around. The president and vice president are promising to do something. What they plan to do isn't exactly clear. Reaction to the president's trade mission in Japan has been mostly critical, with many saying it won't improve things in the United States. But among Republicans, the president remains the clear favorite. And as a whole, two out of three of those polled say they think President Bush will serve another term. President Bush speaks tomorrow in Kansas City to the American Farm Bureau Federation, whose members may be critical of his inability to break down trade barriers in countries like Japan. He goes to New Hampshire on Wednesday, where unemployment is three times higher than the last time he campaigned there in 1988. Prices have risen, food remains in short supply in Russia, and pro-communist anti-Yeltsin sentiment appears to be on the rise. Thousands demonstrated outside the Kremlin today to protest the newly formed Commonwealth of Independent States and Russian President Boris Yeltsin. The communist supporters are demanding prices be returned to earlier levels, which were subsidized by the government. They also want to bring back communist leadership. Some outrage tonight.